have you been presenting your work to clients and you've been showing them examples of it in situ, whether it's on a website, compliment slip or letterhead? Well, I want to show you another way you can present your work and that's in today's video. Hey guys, Chris James here. Now what I want to talk to you about is presenting your work to the client. A lot of us present our work in situ in an application. Now we might present it as a letterhead, we might present it as a compliment slip or even like a website design. We may even go to the extent of putting it on the side of buses or in bus shelters. But what I've found is that not many people uh, are putting it on frosted glass and frosted vinyl and I've found that a lot of clients I'm working with now are wanting that aspect so they're wanting the logo on frosted glass they're wanting some type on frosted glass so what I want to do is show you how to do that how to mock it up so that if your client ever comes to you and says oh can you do frosted glass frosted vinyl you can go yep here's the visual and they can sign off on it and go, yeah, that's good, we'll have that. So I'm gonna to flip to the Mac now and show you what I do. I'm gonna use this Dear Stag logo icon. Uh, for you, you might wanna use your design that you're specifically gonna use. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it into Photoshop. So I'm using Illustrator and I'm pasting it into Photoshop. Now you want to just make sure that you've got Smart Object selected so that it imports the actual image. And to be fair, we don't really need to worry about that now. So I'm just going to hide it using a little eye icon. I'm going to go into my background layer and I'm going to use the polygon tool. And I'm just going to quit, make a quick selection of the window. that I want to use as the frosted glass. Now with that selected, I'm just going to right click and layer via copy. Now that's just going to make a copy of the window. So now what we need to do is we need to make the color for the frosted glass. Now I'm not just going to create an overlay on this. I'm going to create a separate color because we need to use this later on. Now I'm just going to click the magic wand tool when I'm on layer one. Uh, you might want to rename it anything. Um, with that selected, I'm just going to click the magic wand tool inside the photo and that's going to select everything outside this box. And now we need to right click, select inverse, which selects the box that we want. And now we need to create a new color layer. So we need solid color. Now I like this color for using with frosted vinyl or frosted glass effect, but you can obviously play around with the color. I would just say make it more like gray rather than blue, but as long as you stick within the gray blue color palette, you should be fine. And once it's cut selected, we need to change it into an actual shape. So to do that, we first rasterize the layer and then we convert it to a smart object. Now think about our logo icon. I'm just going to scale it up now and place it over the box that we've created. Now I'm just going to skew the logo slightly just so it follows the sort of shape of the window not too much we can click the photo again right click it right click select inverse now with that selected we can hide the logo or image that we've used click down to our color fill and all we're doing now is we're going to apply a layer mask. Now to change it, so some of you might see this. Now to change it so that this is showing through the, the colour, 
you just need to click on your layer mask under layers, command and I, and that'll flip, flip it around so you've got the shape shining through. Now with that done, we can just come and change the opacity down to say about yes, yeah, seventy five percent is roughly a good one to use, but it just depends on the photo as well. To give you that realism, I tend to play around with with the slider of the opacity. Now with the shape that we had out before, uh, what we cut from our original image, we're going to basically click the mask. Oh, I don't want to do that. Add the mask to selection, click down this and create the duplicate mask of that but on the photo layer and now the reason why we're doing that is because now we're going to go to blur so it's filter blur gaussian blur oh apologies you want to make sure you've got the photo selected filter blur Gaussian blur and then you can play around with the sliders again depending on what photo you're using and there you go that's quite a nice easy way to present your work to the client in a different format they might ask for that or you might be able to now present this um, as, a, as an application to your client so there you go. So that's how easy it is to create your design in a mock-up for frosted glass and frosted vinyl. And I hope that you take away this tutorial, use it, present it to your clients, and I hope they give you phenomenal feedback. If you've liked this video, let me know below. If you haven't liked this video, please still let me know below because I'm happy to take on any of your feedback because I want to improve on these videos, improve on the quality, and most importantly, improve on the content. So I'm going to leave it there. Tune in for the next one. See ya.